I get involved with these matters, I keep feeling, and maybe my neurosis, that it's the so-called, so-called educated and globally traveled and globally uh, with business who have let this country down. And this film also in some ways sh show it. It's high time uh, we talk about that role of these people uh, and I'm heavy now into corporate social response directly about the film but yeah I mean I think it, I think if the point is that all citizens have responsibility a new new impetus in what happens in our country I think that's true enough I mean across caste lines across class lines you've chosen to tell the documentary very much through the Dalit protest songs was that a conscious decision or it came about after um, you thought of the idea and so um, there was so much literature within the song. No, uh, it's con conscious decision in the sense that I began to make the film because uh, a Dalit musician that I knew and had worked with committed suicide after this uh, killing of uh, Dalits in Ramabai colony. And so the trigger of the film was the, um, was the music of Vilas Gogre and the poetry of, of his and then I followed other musicians like him. So. I was exploring the music of protest uh, and the long tradition of reason that is there not only in the music but throughout history. So there are references throughout the film about about rationalism. I mean, which other community in our country uh, educates their children to say there are no gods, there are no devils, and uh, and and you are human beings first and foremost. So, I mean, I, I thought that was just amazing to, to find that. Um, and as he says, in the, in the so-called non-educated, but you have a tradition of reason. So I think that the, everyone has so much to learn from that. The gentleman who spoke about being uh, non-religious and uh, the superstitions, yeah. uh, his death was sort of glossed over. Bhai, bhai Sangare, yeah, that, yes. that is a uh, confusing moment, not only in the film, but in reality, because what happened to him was that uh, in 1999 he was setting fire to the Manusmiti, which yeah. Baba Sahib Ambedkar had done right, right. before him. And, uh, and they do that every year to commemorate that burning of the Manusmiti. And while doing that, his, uh, his kurta caught fire. Uh, whether he was murdered, whether he was pushed into that, or whether it was an accident is not totally clear. But it was also a BJP government at, uh, in power at the time and they took the responsibility of his care in hospital and he had 50% burns and he died after 12 days and his family wasn't allowed to meet him during that process so there are suspicious circumstances but there's nothing that can be proved and I, I couldn't allege it either because uh, you, I mean you, we don't know it might have been an accident, it might have been murder and KKM is still underground or are they? K Kabir Kalamanch is, uh, most of them are underground, two of them are in jail um, Right, n they've been in jail now for almost a year and a half. Um, but the good news on that front is that just a few days ago, um, their bail uh, application was successful, and uh, Justice Tipse uh, gave a very good judgment, um, basically saying that the government had no case in terms of uh, keeping them in jail on the basis of what literature they read or. or what songs they sang because they are not even accused of any crime um, apart from cr crime by association by by ideology but that that doesn't count so so that but unfortunately they're still in jail we're we're trying to get the sureties together to get them out but the order has been passed for them to be out these two uh, the rest are underground uh, since so many of the political leaders have sort of joined hands with Shiv Sena or BJP what is their standing in the community versus these poets and these groups that are that are now underground or are in jail? What? How are they perceived? Well, um, when you see the leadership joining this or that party, and they, as you saw, within a short time they were in this party and then they were in that party. It is not. I, I mean, you can feel depressed that what are the leaders doing, but the rank and file and the people on the in the grassroots are completely aware of what is going on. They're not swayed by switching from here to there. So I think that um, in the long run it is the people who will who will assert themselves. And that has happened through
through history. I mean, every time there was a leadership that moved forward, and then over time it might, and it's not in any one community, it's not any one movement, but movements over a period of time can get, lose their focus and go here and there. But then there's a new generation that comes up, and like the Republican Party split many years ago, and then the Dalit Panthers began, <coughs> because the Republican pa uh, Party had failed the people, and then the Dalit Panthers also split, and then other people began. So right now you have a new crop of people who are fighting and protesting. So I think the way to look at it is the longevity of the movement as a whole, and not the side tracks that go here and there. What I'd like to say is that three of them, what you brought out very well, is that the native intelligence, as I would say, the simplest people in the villages and all, their, their thoughts are simple and yet they're very deep. You know, they come out with very apt things. What they are saying is very natural. And what we feel, but we hesitate to say. Yeah, you, know, I you brought it out in their songs also. Yeah, absolutely. I think that the as you become well-to-do, you lose, maybe you lose part of your humanity, maybe you lose part of your reason even, because what is convenient becomes what is okay to think about. I, mean, I think that uh, without wanting to romanticize it, I think that you do find uh, people who are not necessarily uh, literate or educated who have amazing wisdom and, yeah. and, and you see that in this film and probably in many of the films that I've made because that's what I try to bring out. All I'm doing is actually not inventing anything. I'm not making fiction. I'm only capturing this and then bringing it to other people to see. Because we live in a democracy where we don't talk beyond our own class, beyond our own community. We marry between our own community. We talk to our own community. We go to school and college in our own community. We don't interact. So I think that if our democracy has to be real, we have to change that. 